Hello, so we are going to have a quick look at this standalone cooker. Uh, it is the AEG Competence, and I believe it is the 521V. It's approximately 30 years old. We're just going to, and you can see that this one has uh, seen better days, uh, but it still works pretty well. So we're just going to turn it on there. So let's first have a look at the hob. There are four rings and the controls are here. First of all, this one here is for this large ring and the numbers in this one go from one to nine. I've been slightly afraid to uh, clean this as it starts to rub off some of the numbers. So there we go, we'll turn that one up and I can just hear a faint buzzing as it starts to heat up. Um, and then we have this one, which is the small one at the back. Um, and that goes one, two, and three. Uh, and then we have this one. So this one is, as you can see that it is a halogen hob. The other three are all ceramic. And this one is we, turn it on, just uh, refocus it there. As we turn it on, it will come alive instantly, and up to three like that. And we can see with the others, it started to get a little bit red and we already have the heat warnings, uh, but that one, the halogen one, is nice and bright already. And finally, um, we have this one here, which again, one, two, and three. Uh, so that is the hob, all in good working order, uh, and I'll shut these ones off now, and and as well the, the halogen one there. And uh, those three, you can see they're warmed up already, and you have a red warning light, and the final small one in the corner there will get a warning light when that gets hot enough too. The, the camera is bringing out um, probably because of the infrared there you go the, the warning lights come on there probably because of the infrared it's um, bringing out it, it's much brighter on the camera it's much sort of duller glow but that but that halogen one there um, really does uh, go a nice bright red um, very quickly indeed and um, you can indeed just flick the switch straight to three that works perfectly well so that's the hob and now we're going to go down uh, to the top oven. It has two ovens there and there. And inside we have the grill pan. And the grill pan handle is up there. But unfortunately that is um, a bit broken. Uh, but we do have, well, as it's cold now, I can just pull it out. Um, and there's an oven glove that I keep on the side for when it's warm. Uh, so this is both the top oven and the grill, and it's controlled by this dial here. So we can turn that on and again, 100, 200, 250. Again, some of the controls aren't that easy to read. And that is the uh, top oven. And if I want to use the grill, I simply put it into grill mode like that, click. And now it's a grill. And if I want to turn it back into top oven, I have to turn it off completely and then on again. So let's put that back. And uh, let's just start that heating up ever so slightly. And here we are a little later. Uh, the um, I have warmed up the top oven and we can see that the light has gone off to show that it is up to temperature. The light there to show that everything's on anyway. And if I turn the temperature up, sure enough, the light comes back on to show that, it, to show that it's um, carrying on warming up. And if I turn it back down again, it, 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 uh, it goes off. So that leaves the main oven. So we'll just look in there and we have some, some shelves. And 
That is controlled by the remaining two dials we have, one which looks extremely similar to the top oven one there. We saw we saw temperatures there, and we will see temperatures on this one as well, 100 degrees there to 250. And you might notice that that light hasn't come on, but don't worry, it does, uh, because you also needed to, to select a mode or this dial. So the first one is a light, which after 30 years doesn't work. The second one is a fan, which after 30 years doesn't work either. And the third one is normal conventional mode, which is the main mode that I use. And you can see that the light has come on and it's trying to heat up to around about 250 degrees. I think it goes a little bit higher. It goes up to probably around about 270, 280. I think that's 280 actually, if memory serves. I, I never really have recourse to cook that high. And once it reaches that temperature, the light will go off, which is the same behavior as we have with the top oven. Uh, we do have an, another couple of settings here. We've got grill with fan, which the fan doesn't work, so don't worry about that. And then we've got grill. But if I'm grilling something, I tend to use the grill anyway. Um, so there we have, we have looked at all of the functions of the oven, the cooking functions. I'll just say a little bit about the instrument dial, which is completely dead. There used to be a fan that kept it cool, uh, but that broke and then it got too hot. And, and so that's the end of that. But I did particularly like this clock when it worked because at midnight it said 2400, not 000, which I found rather pleasing. And we can see we're actually missing what the, um, that was the, the dial for controllers come off completely there. And we can see some of the uh, controls there that I think that one was alarm but either way it's all a bit mucky now and uh, and uh, long gone. Now it also came with this cookery guide which is a bit dog-eared now and uh, this fold-out uh, sheet which details uh, certain times and temperatures for certain things. Obviously, that was uh, deemed to be important at some point. And the uh, metric to imperial conversion chart. So this again was early 90s. more um, imperial to metric, actually. And Fahrenheit, so yes, this is uh, cooker is completely Celsius. And here's an example of the inside of the cookery guide. See, it uh, has some storage issues with pages uh, folding over on themselves, but and here is the rather large insert folded out in its entirety. We see we have four sections. So the first one here is meat roasting, casserole cooking guidelines, and then we've got baking guidelines over there and beneath that we've got dessert cooking the guidelines there with some notes at the bottom and uh, here we have roasting casseroles of gratin there with a bit of dog ear at the bottom there but it, it folds together quite well. So that is a quick look at 
the AEG Competence 521V, which uh, dates from the early 90s. <laughs> 